Hey guys, this is your boy Jay West, and who's ready for unboxing time with Jay West? So we're gonna do the uh, the wing nut and the screw loose, and the dirt bag and ground chuck today. Um, if you notice, these boxes are ridiculously huge. Check this out. So like the size of these boxes, I got to do this like in a different. I can't even do this on my desk because these boxes are too big. The size of these boxes, man, huge. Compared to the April size box, look at this. It's like, <laughs> look at this, it? That's crazy. Like, it's like two April size boxes. <laughs> That's awesome, though. And then this one, yeah, it's about like, yeah, it's about like an April and like a splinter box. So, yeah, these things are massive. When I saw them in the store, I was like, holy crap, these boxes are freaking huge. I was actually going to pass on this one at first, but then uh, I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe I'll pick it up. I saw it in the store, so I'm like, I didn't expect to see it on Friday uh, when I went to the store. And then I had uh, pre-ordered this one on NECA on the, on the site on, what was it, Monday or Tuesday they had the sale? I didn't expect these to be in stores on Friday. Not at all. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm glad I found them. So we will take a look at these two first, and uh, let's crack them up. And then, oh yeah, um, there's some other news that I wanted to talk about too. There's the uh, the farmhouse pack that was released. Uh, they I, somebody screwed up, and Neca was like, "Yeah, there was there was a a leak <laughs> about the farmhouse two pack about the April and Casey." And, like, back early, I want to say early summer, um, maybe maybe May, June, something like that, it was on the website. And people were like, go, 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 go. Pre-order this on the website. We don't even know what it is, but it's NECA. It's Turtles. Do it anyway. And then uh, I, I got my order in, and then it was supposed to be here Friday, but then NECA cleared everything up. They're going to um, talk about it on Turtle Tuesday. So that's cool. Um, so, yeah, it's an actual... April and Casey farmhouse pack, so that's pretty awesome. I just hope my order doesn't get canceled by by Walmart. That would kind of suck. But then finding these things is pretty easy sometimes too. When you have the um, brick seek, use brick seek. That's how I, I that's how I find all the uh, Neca releases at Walmart. Man, brick seek. That's what you got to do. Wow, look at these guys. Man. Oh wow, look. Let's take a look at the inside. Backdrop's a little different. Let's see if I can get some light in here. There we go. Shine a little bit more light in this situation. So the inside of the box, if you could take a, a look at that, it's kind of dark. It's the uh, the turtles where they come where they come out with the van. It's like the uh, the sewer area. So that's new. I wonder why they gave them that though. That's that's interesting. Let's get this box out here. So I might break this up into two parts. I'll do the first part where I'll do wing nut and screw loose, and then I'll do another video of dirt bag and ground chuck. Just to break it up a little bit. So let's see. Let's see. I don't know where all my knives went, so I'm doing this with this little. There we go. Let's see what this guy comes with. Oh, wow, they come with a stand? What? They come with those NECA stands. That's pretty dope. I actually have a few here. They come with this stand right here. So that's pretty cool. It's a flight stand for, uh, for what's that? Wing nut? <laughs> actually, it could be a flight stand for both of them because they both have wings. I don't think Big Boy over here is going to hold up on that thing, though. Now, if you don't remember these guys from the cartoon, I'll show a clip right now of uh, of these two. They were actually in the cartoon for an episode. And so were Ground Chuck and Dirtbag, too. They were only in, like, one episode, but it, was, uh, it wasn't very memorable, I can tell you that. <laughs> I didn't realize this until I was older that those two were actually in the show. before I cut myself so we'll just get all the accessories together and everything and then I'll kind of just show it all once I get it all in back there 
these things are a pain in the butt these little tabs in here there we go I know I'm gonna cut myself I know it <laughs> let's hope not Ooh, what's this I don't know what this is but uh yeah but on the back of that got another wanted poster of who's this guy smash oh from the smash for cash dojo that's who that is <laughs> that's awesome maybe we'll see those guys coming soon okay that's pretty cool holy crap no that can't be it all right you see this thing here i think that's the map it was an episode where they took Splinter's kimono and he had a map on the inside of his kimono. I wonder if that's it. I got to do my research, but that might be the map. Oh, snap. That's pretty cool. I still have no idea what these are for, though. I'll find out in a minute, though. Okay. Uh, let's put these to the side. Ooh. And if I'm not talking, it's because of the concentrating really hard on getting these stupid plastic things cut and out of here. Say, say what you want about NECA, but they do package their stuff really well. This stuff ain't moving. Still in there. How did they expect me to get to this? <laughs> Look at this. How did they expect me to do this? Oh my goodness. Right, bear with me because this is this. They got how do they how do they it's 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 so far in there. I don't have these tiny little fingers that can, or with the right equipment. <laughs> but we're gonna make the You know what? I'm just gonna cut it from this side. Why not? Because why not? As soon as I don't cut the figure, I should be fine. Get a knife that's not trash, too. So that's. Ah, there it is. There it is. Got some weight to it. One more on there. Oh, easier to go from the front than the back. Okay. There we go. Oh man, this dude's got some size to him. Look at this. This dude's got some size to him. He's a beefy boy. That's why the package is so wide, because he's so freaking big. I wonder if you could take these off. Nah. Like, it looks like it's two separate pieces, but it's glued on there. So, yeah, that's definitely not going to come out. So, that's good, though. You don't want it coming out and slipping out. So, it's glued in there, but it is two separate pieces. Okay. These are not movable from the looks of it. But the wings are on a ball joint. So, that's cool. Tail is on a ball joint. And it's got a swivel. All right, head's on a ball joint, so that moves round and round. Got a pretty good... So let's see, if you want to get him flying, you can actually get him in a pretty decent flying pose. So that's not bad. Okay. Man, I was going to pass on these, too. Like, I'm kind of feeling this. I like this figure. Wow, okay. Got your hinge joint at the knee. Got the ball. Let's see. See the rocker ankles? I don't... Uh, they rock from side to side a little bit. And then backwards and forwards on that. Yeah. Tight. Of course, with NECA, it's always... They got the tight joints, so you got to, like, heat them up with a with a heat gun or a, or a blow dryer or get the, the hot water trick. 
one mortar okay that's cool man this is I'm, I'm really glad i didn't pass on this this is actually a really dope figure man wow all right let's check out the other one now i might get their names confused because i know one's wing nut one screw loose but i always forget which one is which <laughs> if i mess that up forgive me i'll put that to the side let's get this guy out of here you know what let's not make the same mistake twice let's go from the front I hope I don't cut anything. Right. With this one, it's going to be tricky because it's like right in the middle. And always cut away from yourself. That's what my dad taught me. Although I'm not doing that right now. So I hope he's not watching. Jiminy Christmas. There we go. There should be one more that I couldn't get from the front. And boom. Got him. Okay, here we go. So look at this guy. Oh, wow. All right, so his wings are on like a, it's like this little small they they swivel so they go like all the way around and then they they're on the hinge so they go back and forth it's got this long <laughs> this long neck <laughs> this long mosquito like neck both arms are on a ball joint and they can move backwards and forwards up and down all around let's see ah man these things are tight He's got the rockers at the ankle, too. Okay, okay. Very tight joints. I like tighter joints, though. And I don't like the loose joints because then your figures are all falling over, falling on the ground. The mouths do not open and close on these. So that's kind of just the way he's going to look all the time. So that's not make or break. I don't mind that. Heads on a ball joint. Can't get too great of a range on the on the head if you, you gotta you gotta kind of turn it if you want them to even look like forward a little bit like get that flying pose you know oh, that's not too bad then you got a tail that is just on a swivel it looks like it's not on a ball joint okay so that's not bad it's pretty cool so, all in all, yeah, that's not bad, man. Back to my unorthodox review here. <laughs> kind of review, unboxing, eh, a little bit of both. Okay, so we got a good look at Wingnut and screw loose here. So we took a look at these guys. We're going to put them to the side. We're going to take, uh, take a look at the accessories. Now, the accessories, now, th it comes with this pretty boss gun here. Um... It looks dope, but it's very it's one it's made of that, that kind of plastic that if you drop it, it's gonna break. It's it's gonna it's gonna shatter. So like there's there's pieces like this right here, a little scope, and then this piece right here, and this other piece. I feel like if you drop this thing, it's gonna it's done so. Um, but it is very cool. It looks very awesome. So that's cool. So I'm digging that. And then of course the wanted posters. <laughs> with my man on there from the slash for cash dojo <laughs> stickers where i gotta figure out where this goes I gotta, I gotta figure that out that w i believe you put that w like the old uh vintage figure you put that w on his on his stomach and man i'm i'm like 90 95 percent sure that's the the map on the back of uh splinter's kimono on the inside like 90, 99%. I got to check. So I'm going to do that later. Um, so that's pretty much. Oh, yeah. Uh, for accessories. Now, this guy, he's not going to come with extra hands. He's got like four hands already. So he doesn't come with anything extra. 
but uh, Wingnut comes with two like paw like hands so you can like grab the turtle neck or something and then he's got two trigger finger hands so for each side so it's pretty bare bones when it comes to accessories so just the hands the gun and the stickers oh and, the, and of course the, the flight stand where most likely only screw loose could probably fit unless you kind of i don't know he's i don't know if he's gonna fit on that stand because he's kind of heavy he's beefy he's got some he's got some weight to him so um so yeah there's that there's that um uh, yeah, originally I was not really excited for this pack because I really didn't, you know, you know, too much care about their episode. Um, but I'm glad I didn't skip out on that. So, yeah. All right, so next up, I'm going to take a look at the ground chuck and dirt bag pack, which I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Peace.